Hello, good evening, and welcome to Most Haunted Live. We're here in Italy, in Turin, where some people believe it's the most haunted place on earth. Some people believe that this is the home of the devil. Will we come face to face with Satan himself? We have five nights to find out. Welcome to an extra special five night live investigation. We're here in Turin, Italy, where some people believe that there is a spiritual battleground between good and evil. And lots of people believe that this is the home of Satan himself. But more about that later on as the evening progresses. Now then, I'm going to introduce two gorgeous, lovely, sexy gentlemen who, of course, navigate and steer this whole five night live just for you. They are, of course, Paul Ross and Julian Clegg. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought Lionel Keating and Gary Barlow had wandered onto the show. <laughs> How are you? I'm oh, really thrilled to be here because outside the UK, Italy is my favourite country because you've got history going back three, four, five thousand years, ancient civilizations, a real spirituality, and it's going to be fantastic over the next five nights. It I really, think. really is. And well, I've never been to Italy before, and I love it. It's fantastic. fantastic. Now, this is a real boy thing, I have to say, because just explain, Paul, where we are sitting. We're in the former Fiat factory above it in Turin, where a large chunk of the Italian job from the 60s, starring Michael Caine, was filmed. So it's fantastic to be here for that reason. And it's fantastic because, of course, we're on living an hour early. This would not be on living two. Yeah. Julian on living. It's going to be a great hour. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be great. You sit down for a minute. What's coming up? Well, this is basically normally on, on access between eight and nine. We preview and go behind the scenes of the show, and that's exactly what we're going to do of it uh, over the next hour. And we are in uh, the bubble, La Bola, on top of the, the Fiat factory. Uh, the mountains, the Alps behind us. In fact, Mont Blanc is literally just over there uh, as well. And over the next hour, we'll look at the show, meet the cast, we'll meet new members of the cast as well. But don't take my word for it. Have a look at this. I want to see your face. Or well, your faces. Because you are. You, you're more than one. People of Italy, they're warm, they're welcoming. Actually, they're very, very nice people as a whole. And they like good life, like fun. Well, I had to get the DVDs, look into it, um, go to the locations, take the DVD with us, and watch the DVD before we actually go to the location ourselves. So join us on Living Through until midnight and over the next hour looking behind the scenes. Let's meet uh, the stars of the show right now. Yvette Fielding and Carl Beatty are here on the sofa. Hello. Hello. Good evening, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It is. Fantastic. Fantastic. This location is amazing, isn't it? It is. You can see all of Turin sort yeah. of around, sort of all lit up at night. And it's in the, beautiful. And in the daylight, the Alps yeah. over there. Extraordinary. Stunning. Extraordinary. Super. So how was your journey to Italy, first of all? It was fine. The flight actually coming into landing, I screamed a lot because yeah. we were bumping around. But it was, you could see all the mountains and it's everything. It's a bit Indiana Jones, isn't it? It, it was a little bit, yeah. Landing. Yeah. What about you, Carl? It was great. I mean, we, we knew we were coming here, so we're kind of apprehensive about what we're going to be doing here, but we couldn't wait to get here because Turin is just a beautiful, beautiful city. Now, had either of you been to Turin before? No, right. never. The so, first so time. So what do you reckon? I think it's absolutely lovely. It's yeah. really nice. Of course, I've been spending a lot of Carl's money and buying lots of things, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he went on a shopping trip yesterday, absolutely, didn't he? Yeah. This yeah. is well scary for the wallet as well. <laughs> and the location, I mean, you know that we all say our, our psychic doesn't know, but you know the locations we're going to. I, I know of them. This you know of I, them. I, I've right. not actually been to any of them yet, right. so it's the first uh, for me. So, what do you, any ideas about the next five nights? Uh, yeah, they're going to be absolutely terrifying. I know we always say, oh gosh, yeah. you know, it's going to be really frightening, but we're doing a couple of new things, um, which I won't go into right now, right. but. Uh, one of them I'm a little bit apprehensive about, and I know the rest of the team are. Uh, not the location, but what we're going to be doing. And of course, I'm looking forward to um, doing some EVP, but, but really looking into it and, and delving more into EVP. I think that's very, very uh, a popular thing that everybody loves. And Carl, the uh, sort of Satan thing, I mean, it's about myths and legends we ought, ought to stress. I mean, I, do, do you feel that there's real substance there or you're a bit sceptical about it? What do you think? Um, I mean, I think we, we've really pushed the bar this time. To, I mean, we really have. We, we've raised the bar quite high to, to, um, uh, to stand up to because 
it is Satan City, but obviously we're looking for paranormal activity, we're looking for ghosts, we're looking for... But people believe there's a lot of d demonic worship of, as, as happened around here, and they do believe that, that demons do exist in the places where we're going to go. So it's one of those things that you can't actually... You can't miss a second of it because anything can happen. That's The whole team, more so than I think ever before in a Most Haunted, uh, are apprehensive about doing these, uh, these five it. nights. Now, the, 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 since we last spoke, which was Halloween, I mean, you've been busy, the, been recording the, the new series. How's that been going? <laughs> <laughs> he says. No, it's, it's, it's the best series, yeah. yeah. It, That's what everyone's saying, yeah. too. We've caught some, uh, and you'll hear me say it on, on tonight's show, uh, we've caught some uh, really good phenomena, and sound, as I've just mentioned, is a key thing. Which is the EVP yeah. thing, so it's crucial, and isn't that, it? And, and also, uh, Roger, our, our new sound guy, is he's picking up an awful lot. So, uh, and we've got some great locations haven't but we? also also with Brian I mean Brian the, the fact Brian. that Brian you know Brian is, is such a find I mean Our new he's, medium yeah. he's, he's, he's superb you'll, you'll get to know him as, as we go on but to actually be able to draw what other people can only describe verbally he can draw and put visually down what we're seeing or what we can see and that's that, that's that's amazing right well we mentioned the team there what have they been up to we've been uh, catching up with them out on uh, a previous location to see how they are have a look at this since the last live, the uh, Halloween October extravaganza, the big five-nighter, uh, we've been currently working on the new series, Series 10, bringing you all even more scares and frights and horrors. Since the last live, uh, I've been dealing with very unusual sounds at night, uh, unusual smells, um, all in all, very unusual, very unique time, because I'm the proud father of a three-month-year-old baby. I've got my own salon, so I've been busy in the salon and running up and down the country filming Most Haunted. I've just got a horrible, sick feeling about this place. As well as filming, um, I have another life as well. Um, because I have a HGV licence, and my way of relaxing is just jumping behind the wheel of a wagon and just driving from one end of the country to the other. Well, to be quite honest with you, I can't remember what the last live was. I can remember where we were, the locations, but because we... We filmed that much constantly. All I can tell you is about the last live is that I think I had a good time. <laughs> it's an intense three hours of uh, all of us screaming, being scared, and for five nights it's going to be exhausting, but I really am looking forward to it. It should be fun. It's, I mean, Italy is such a superb place. And the last time we did a live abroad uh, was Romania, and that was a three-nighter, and so much weird stuff happened abroad to us. I was nervous at first, but I'm still in awe of this place. It's so exciting to be here because it's just like the cliched horror movie. I'm just loving it. So what's going to happen over five nights in Italy is anyone's guess. With the live, it's very quick. It's very fast. You've got to think on your feet. You've got to have all the gadgets with you, which is my job, to react to any sort of experience that people have and look for the natural explanation. Simon, did you hear that one that Kath said she heard? Mm. I heard, I had four at the beginning and I heard four distinct, did you hear them Sam? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm looking forward to it, I always look forward to working with the same guys uh, on the Most Haunted Lives. You know, all I can say is that I can't wait to get out there and find out what we're doing basically. One of the things I'm expecting but also looking forward to is the whole communication aspect. Uh, we're in a foreign city, uh, Italian, nobody else on as I understand it speaks Italian. I have kind of a passing knowledge of Italian. But I'm always interested to see how mediums actually operate in a foreign language. Also, what's great about it is that on this, on the TV show, it's such a small crew. I mean, I think there's only about 12, 13 of us, very unlucky number. But on the uh, live, there's about 100 of us, you know, and it's so great to see familiar faces, old friends, people you've not worked with for ages. And basically, the best thing about it is that when we wrap at 12, the fun doesn't stop there. That hotel bar gets hit and hit well. And that's what I really like about the leather wife. So now we know what's been happening to the most haunted live family, including the newest addition, Kieran's baby. Oh, <laughs> Renault. Isn't that wonderful? Little Renault. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. <laughs> so more from them later on. Uh, do you want us to take some calls? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just to explain, uh, we get emails and letters and all sorts of messages during the year to the show. We selected some of the people who've been in touch to come on the phone over the, uh, the next five nights. So let's go to the lines right now. And I hope Lynn is in Manchester. Hi, Lynn. Hello. Hello, Lynn. Or should we say buongiorno? <laughs> Let's say hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's your question? 
Uh, is there anything, any of the locations that they're, they're looking forward to more than others? So, I mean, are, are you know of the locations. I mean, any yes. ones that you're particularly interested in? Yeah, there's the, the, the High Lynn. Um, yeah. Hi, yeah. There's the fourth uh, night. I won't say exactly uh, what they are. They're supposed to be the, the mouth of hell. Mm. Um, yeah, and mm. uh, it's, it's supposed to be incredibly claustrophobic. And um, Leslie will sort of give more information about this, uh, particularly on the fourth night. Uh, apparently a lot of satanic worship went on down there over the years. Um, and uh, a lot of people here in Turin uh, and in Italy do actually believe that this is the mouth of hell. So that's where we're going to be going on the fourth night. So I'm a bit nervous about it, to say the least, Lynn. <laughs> and, and Lynn, how are you watching the show tonight? Are you on your own or, or with another, another half or what? Well, me other arse with me too, about half past eight, and then he's off. I kick him out for more sorted. <laughs> a good girl. <laughs> I love it. Lynn, thanks for coming thanks, on the Lynn. show. Great to talk to you. Now, we've got a question from Rachel in Conway, North Wales, who we're going to put this question to everybody tonight, because we okay. like this one. If you could communicate with a celebrity spirit, who would it be and why? Carl, is there someone famous from the past you'd like to talk to? There's a few that are alive that I would like to communicate <laughs> uh, with as a spirit. No, um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, there are two. Obviously, Elvis um, and Oscar Wilde. Okay, uh, I would choice. love to. I would love to sit and chat to Oscar for. Uh, I could sit and chat to him for right. years. I okay. think. Yvette, what about you? Uh, it's probably a bit controversial. I just thought of it really. I suppose all to do with the next five nights. I'd love to sit down and have a have a debate with Alistair Crowley. Gosh, wow. yeah. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, get inside that man's head. That must be a little bit strange. Okay. Uh, quick time for another call. Off to Manchester. Cathy. Hi, Cathy. Hello. What's Hi, your question? Hi, <laughs> It is really. It's mainly for Carl. Um, I'm just interested what sparked his interest in the paranormal. Um, I'll tell you what, strangely That's enough, it, it was, it's a very good question. Um, it happened uh, many years ago when I was, uh, I was very young. I woke up one night uh, to go to the toilet uh, in my mum and dad's house and I thought I saw uh, a figure. Uh, of, a, of a man dressed in, in 1930s clothes with a, with a hat on, leaning up against the wall of uh, my mum and dad's house. In the morning, my brother came out, uh, came down for breakfast and said he got scared the night before because he went up to go to the loo and he saw the same thing but in a different uh, position and said it was somebody wearing what he described as Humphrey Bogart mm. clothes. We've never oh. seen it since and never seen it, never seen it before and didn't see it uh, again. Right. But we both saw something, the same thing, in a different position the same night, and that made me start thinking, there so must be that, something. So that, that started your interest in the whole subject? There must be something, yeah. Fascinating. Well, look, more from you two later on. Okay. Uh, good luck with the investigation uh, tonight. And as we've been saying, this is an amazing location, La Bola, or The Bowl, on top of the uh, Fiat factory here in Turin. And here's a bit more about where Paul, Leslie and myself are going to be based over the next five nights. Lingotto is a district of Turin, Italy, but the name is most associated with the Lingotto building, which was once used as a huge car factory constructed by Fiat. Built from 1916 and opened in 1923, the design by young architect Matte Trocco was unusual in that it had five floors with raw materials going in at the ground floor, the cars built on a line that went up through the building, and finished cars emerged at rooftop level where there was a rooftop test track. It was the largest car factory in the world at the time, 80 different models of car were produced there in its lifetime, including the famous Fiat Topolino of 1936. The factory became outmoded in the 1970s, and the decision was made to finally close it in 1982. After a public outcry about plans to demolish the building, an architectural competition was held, which was eventually awarded to Renzo Piano, who envisaged an exciting public space for the city. The old factory was rebuilt into a modern complex with gardens, shopping arcades, and a prestigious hotel and the work was completed in 1989. The original Lingotto rooftop test track can be seen in the movie The Italian Job, and it's still there today, and surrounds our home for the next five nights, La Bola, or The Bubble. This modern meeting room was even used for a G8 World Summit. All in all, an impressive home for most haunted live. It is amazing. So beneath this bubble here, we've got an enormous shopping centre. We've got two hotels. Quite an amazing place. Now, we couldn't do this show without you at home. We want you to get interactive 
as ever, that's what it's all about. And I'm going to be outside in the cold later on uh, in the show with the interactive team and a new recruit to the interactive team. Uh, Stuart is uh, the new man on interactive, and we're going to meet him uh, right now. He's the, the chap along with, I think, three other colleagues who've set up computers and all the links for your texts and uh, your messages via the website and so on. Let's meet him right now. Stuart, welcome to Most Haunted Live. Hello, Julian. It's lovely, very exciting to be here. Lovely to see you. So what's it involved getting this all together out here all this way it's, from home? It's been very, very complicated. We've had to get together every interactive element of the show. So we've got the website going on, we've got all the text messaging going on, uh, we've got the web forums going on, uh, but it's all coming together, and so far it's all systems go. Any, <laughs> good, any language <laughs> barriers to cross? Uh, no, I, well, I'm not sure. What does uh, stupido inglese mean? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, people, yeah, yeah, I wonder. Yeah, people keep saying it to me. I'm I just don't understand. <laughs> now, and uh, final thought, I mean, how can people get in touch? OK, well, they've got two main ways of getting in touch with the show. The first is by sending us a text message, yeah. and the second is, of course, the website. We've got uh, a way they can enter their webcam sightings to us, and there's also uh, a way for sending messages to the team and telling us what's going on right. with the show. Well, let's do all the best. I'm sure we'll talk some more over the next five nights. Look so I'll let you get back it. to the team. Thank you very much. Thanks indeed. very let much. Let me explain how you can get in touch. First of all, I want you to text me with your, your messages, most haunted live parties, anything that you spot during the evening, text uh, the word screen, then a space, then your message to 80889. Do say who you are and where you're from, very importantly. It costs 50p plus one text message at a standard rate to get involved by the text. You must be over 18, by the way, to text us as well. Or get in touch via the website, mosthauntedlive.net, and we'll read out your messages, uh, the best ones, during the show. So get in touch and uh, we'll hear more from you later. Now, our competition, we've got, as ever on Most Haunted Live, a fantastic competition for you. Uh, the prize is five lucky winners will win tickets to the next Most Haunted Live event with travel and accommodation. Now this is for UK viewers very importantly only so bear that in mind. Ten runners up are going to walk off with uh, Most Haunted Series 9 on DVD as well. So here's the question. Where was the first Most Haunted Live location? Was it A. Pendle Hill, B. Dudley Castle or C. Mizartro? And you can enter by calling 0901 Five double three five double oh five right now, or pressing your digital satellite viewers, press your button, the red button right now on your remote control. It costs one pound from a BT landline. Other networks and mobile rates may be higher. Uh, you must be over 18 to enter the competition, by the way. Or text your answer to haunted, then a space followed by your name and answer to 843. Eight, three. That costs a pound plus one standard rate message as well. Please leave your name, very importantly. Now, the competition lines close on the 30th of March, uh, midnight. We'll announce the winners, picked at random next week. They'll be available on the website as well. So good luck in those lines open right the way over the next five days. So, uh, so get involved and uh, perhaps walk off with those tickets for the next Most Haunted Live. Now, that's all we have time for in part one, but there's a lot more to come in part two, including catching up with our new psychic medium, Brian, who's going to be joining us, and more about Turin's ghoulish past as well. I'll see you in a few minutes. I want to see your face. Well, your faces, because you are, you, you're more than one. Hi, this is Michael O'Bura from Hotel Babylon, and I just want to wish the whole team good luck in Turin. Calling out the devil, you're definitely braver than me, so I respect you for that. I can't wait to hear your stories. Good luck. Welcome back to Most Haunted Live, the first night of five nights from Turin. We're based here in the bubble, La Bola, on the top of this historic car factory at the foot of the Alps in northern Italy. An extraordinary location for our five nights here on Most Haunted Live. And uh, between now and nine, we're looking behind the scenes of the show. Paul Ross takes over the sofa at nine, and I'll be heading outside to bring you interactive news for the rest of the night. Now, uh, messages. Thank you very much indeed. You're already getting in touch. J just to say hello to Trish in Havant, in Hampshire. Hi, team. Looking forward to the next five nights. We'll be watching here. Good luck. Uh, hello to Grant, who says, uh, hi, good luck for the next five nights. And Becky in York wants to wish the team all the best. This is going to be one of the best lives, uh, she reckons. So that is great. Thank you very much for getting in touch. Now, uh, we've got a, a new man on the show, a new psychic medium. We're going to meet him in just a moment's time. But before we meet him on the sofa, we call caught up with him a bit earlier. My name is um, Brian Shepherd, and I am 59 years old. I know you're here. Just come forward to me. My job on, on, on Most Haunted is of 
medium and psychic artist. I've got this great impression that's come across to me of this of this woman in, in uniform who I feel took her own life because she was having a, uh, a lesbian relationship. Being a medium, but also being an artist is slightly different in that the vision is, is very much in my mind. I want to see your face, or well, your faces, because you are, you, you're more than one. With concentration, that can become so clear that not always, but one is able to actually get something down on paper. This has come across very strongly, and I believe that, well, hopefully anyway, that this is pretty much what that woman looked like. I suppose it is, I suppose overall it's a bit different. It's not every day you meet someone who is a medium and, and also able to put that, put down on paper something, you know, which is, which, which is visual. One of the nicest things is that I feel that um, I really do feel like fitting with the team. They're a great team. Everyone's very friendly, very forthcoming, um, and it makes the job so much easier. So let's meet the man in question. Joining me on the sofa is Brian Shepherd and also parapsychologist. He's here. It's Kieran O'Keefe. Nice to see you both. Good evening. evening. Welcome to Turin. Uh, Brian, I mean, you've never been to Turin before, rather like me, you're a stranger here. I've never been to Turin before, no. It's That's lovely though, isn't it? Oh, it's a great city. Yeah. Great city. I'd like to see some more, but what I've, what I've seen, it's a super place. And this fascinating mix of new buildings like this, and then the old buildings old, in the centre of town, yeah. which are extraordinary. Yeah, no, great. I'm so interested in, in, in that side of things also, as well yeah. as the paranormal, and all those stories, of course. Yeah. And great art in that little film we saw there. I mean, you're a fantastic artist, if I may say. Make you blush, but I mean, really good. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> but thank good. you. <laughs> How long you, have you been drawing since a child? Or? Oh, yes, yes. I've, I've been an artist of, and, and making a living in that way, I suppose, right. all my adult life. Right. So the, the, and you do art for commissions for people in people's homes and so on, yeah? I do. Yeah, Part fantastic. of what I do is, is just that. Yeah. That's the day job. Right, fantastic. It, it is. I used to be in advertising as well. But oh, right, um, okay. certainly nowadays, it, it, it is taking on... Um, uh, private commissions and, and also doing my own thing you know right. and, and putting them into, into a gallery well, situation. Well looking forward to seeing more of your artwork over the next five nights it's oh, going to be well. very interesting. Kieran welcome back. Thank you. And welcome to the world for the new arrival. Yes. So fantastic. December the 7th is a day etched in your memory yes, isn't it? without a doubt when people say what have you been doing since the last live <laughs> yeah I've been very very busy but smiling all the time. And what was the song that you and your wife were listening to as you went to bed on the night just before she gave birth? It was a French song called La Nuit Blanche by a singer called Renan Luce. And La Nuit, Blanche, people, yeah. La Nuit Blanche means sleepless night. <laughs> and it turned out to be the most sleepless night we could ever have had. And so we named our son Renan after the singer. Great story, great story. Now look you two, let's have a look, shall we, at some of the myths of Turin, very important, where we are for the next five nights. Have a look at this. Turin has a reputation for being the most haunted city on earth. Access All Areas has collected all the major ghost stories that abound in Turin. Here they are. In the Via Bava there is said to be an unruly poltergeist that sends bottles flying. In the mausoleum of Bella Rosa it's said the ghost of Bella Rosa walks the circular building. No surprise these stories come about as it is her final resting place. The ghost of Filippo San Martino di Aglie is said to haunt the Monte dei Cappuccini, the home of the monastery which dominates the town from the Turin Hill on the other side of the river. In Piazza dell'Erbe in the rope-making district, a street is supposedly haunted by the ghost of a government clerk that hanged himself from an eaves gutter pipe. There are further hauntings in this same area. The washerwoman's ghost in the Via della Gallo or Rice Market Square, and three ghosts haunt the Mast district by St Peter's Church, who sometimes disturb the dreams of the locals with images of three slick black coffins. Other places in the city with multiple ghost stories and myths are the Palazzo Barolo, haunted by Eleanor Matilda Pravana, who died of a broken heart in 1701, or so the story goes. Then there is Palazzo Levaldighi, a large city centre mansion haunted by the ghost of a dancer killed during a three-day orgy. 
Even the royal palace of Turin has its own supposed ghosts. Three, according to sources, including a royal dame in a pale dress with a long tail, and a ghost said to forewarn with its apparitions of imminent disasters. And its accompanying royal palace, the Palazzo Madama, is not to be outdone, as it has, according to legend, two ghosts, one haunting the main staircase, and the other is often sighted in the dungeons. These are but the tip of the iceberg in a place known throughout the world as the most haunted city ever. My goodness, and that's just a sample of some of the myths and ghosts in uh, Turin. Brian, uh, what did you think of all that? Absolutely fascinating. <laughs> you know, we've watched that and, I, you know, I'm thinking, this is so exciting. Yeah. Let's see if we can get to grips with some of these, some of these stories. Let's see what's really we there. See, shall we? And Absolutely. Kieran, as our resident sceptic, I mean, that's why I use the word myths as well here. I mean, how important is the myth to this and the legend to, to the ghost? If you well, part of it, I mean, the, even the label itself, Satan City, you know, is going to evoke a lot more stories than maybe there actually are. But here we're just focusing on ghost stories. And you've always got to treat some ghost stories with, you know, a pinch of salt. Because some of them might be very innocent, very normal starts, yeah. but then elaborated on. I'm sure you will tell us over the next five nights. Let's go to the phones. Let's go to Gretna. And Natasha is there. Hi, Natasha. Hello. Hello. Hello, Natasha. Uh, uh, Hello. Brian and Kieran are here. What's your question? Um, basically, I was just wondering, how do your investigations compare abroad to the UK, and are you going to do any more abroad? Right, so Kieran, I'll say, let you take that one, as you've uh, done a few abroad now. Yeah, it's a very good question. When you think about in terms of communicating with the spirits, um, for example, with a medium, there's that part of things. To, is there this universal language that all spirits speak, or do we have a language barrier with the spirits? But also think about Ouija boards and that sort of thing, and other people on the team, if they want to call out, there's this dilemma. Do we call out in English, or should we call out in Italian, or you know, whatever other country we're going to be in? But it's always exciting to go to a different country because, right. you know, exciting stories and the architecture, the locations, absolutely fabulous. So hopefully more. Okay, very quickly, the question we're asking everyone tonight, um, if you could choose to link with a celebrity and talk to one of the past, who would you link to, Brian? Oh, come on, I'll make you laugh now. Bring on Groucho Marx. <laughs> come to think of it, bring on the Marx Brothers. Good answer. <laughs> and Kieran? Um, it would have to be Einstein have to be. As a scientist, yeah, one of the greatest scientists ever. And so I'd like to sit down and chat to Albert Einstein. Well, look, Brian and Kieran, have a great night tonight. Great first night for you, Thank Brian. You Lovely so to much. see you both. And well, I'm sure we'll talk again on future nights. Thank well, you. that's about it for uh, part two. But uh, don't worry, part three is just around the corner. We've got uh, famous celebrity chef uh, Giancarlo Caldesi giving some tips. And we catch up with the investigation team as well. It's all on the way. Don't go away. Back in a few minutes. People of Italy, they're warm, they're welcoming, actually they're very, very nice people as a whole and they like good life, like fun. So who do you think this is? Oh, oh, I'm right scared. Oh, oh, just come here, come here. You're fine, you're fine. Oh, I'm right scared. Oh. Yes, you guessed it, it was Catherine Howe. <laughs> Welcome back to Most Haunted Live from Turin, the first of five nights, and we are based here above this historic car factory in the bubble, and it's in an extraordinary location. It's got a helipad actually outside, but I didn't arrive by helicopter. And we're looking behind the scenes of Most Haunted Live between now and nine here on Living. And thank you for your messages already coming thick and fast. Uh, Hi, guys, says Grant. I just wanted to say fantastic to see the show start at 8 p.m. It makes it more exciting, and I think the show is fantastic. Lots of love and uh, good luck to the team. Like it, like it. Now, talking to the team, let's catch up with them and let's see uh, how they're getting on. Uh, some of them are already there on location. So, hello, hello, Wigan, hello, Stuart, hello, Jeff, hello, Hi, Roger. guys. Hi. You okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Wigan, first up, uh, are you ready to roll? Oh, ever ready. I can't <laughs> wait to get going. <laughs> uh, Stuart, what do you think about the location where you are tonight? Uh, I think this location is, uh, I think it's going to be a very good location tonight. It's very scary and, uh, yeah, I just can't wait. Just, just want to get going, really, don't yeah, we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jeff, you had quite a dramatic Halloween five nights, didn't you? What, what, what are you reckoning about five nights in Turin? 
Well, I was trying, I've been trying to forget that for a long time. But, uh, Sorry, mate. I, <laughs> I think this, this place is going to be very, very special. People have been in there rigging all day, and uh, I've been seeing people running out and, uh, you know, hearing things yeah. already. Right. So uh, this is going to be good. And Roger, Yvette was mentioning earlier that the sound is very important on this show. I mean, you're, you're right at the sharp end there, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we've got some interesting stuff to try out tonight, and uh, we've already been down there rigging and finding a few sounds which we're not sure about. We've already had somebody run out, as uh, Jeff was saying, so I think, yeah, a few big bangs and pops, and we're going to try a little recorder and see if we can get something different. Well, I think you guys need some uh, help with your Italian and some handy translations, so we've uh, got in a very special celebrity to help you. Italian chef uh, Giancarlo Cardesi has put together this little film for you four. Have a listen to this. People of Italy, they're warm, they're welcoming, actually, they're very, very nice people as a whole, and they like good life, like fun. Northern Italy is a little bit uh, northern weather, sometimes a bit rainy, sometimes overcast, and Turin, especially those, those, uh, those areas, Milano, uh, suffer from fogs, but overall, it's, it's much better than England, really. It's a fantastic culture, fabulous cafes, you go out, oh my goodness, uh, ice creams, fabulous coffees, patisserie, it's excellent really. And um, also you find this, uh, this attitude in the afternoon, they go and they sip their lovely espresso. So it's, it's, it's a culture which has uh, evolved along the years, but uh, in, a, in a very subtle and very, very charming and very high society way. Well, come on, women of Italy, they like fashion, they make up, beautiful handbags, everything that is designed and clothing is for them and uh, they have to look good. They go out one second place, one second as well. I have to look good. That's the boys as well, obviously. Passion of Italian people is women for the men, cars, art is interesting. The most special thing about Turin is the actual city itself, the way it was created, the way it's been built, and um, because of the weather, they, they, they create all these wonderful arches. So you basically, no umbrella, but you can walk from one arch to another, to another street. And also, on the arches, underneath, there is a wonderful cafe, wonderful restaurant. You see beautiful shops. So basically, you come out of the shop, go into the cafe, sit down, have your coffee, you're a little bit tired, then move along to another show. So that's, that's the beauty about Turin. It really is beautiful. Tap once for yes, twice for no. Bussa la porta una volta per sì e due volte per no. Do you have a message for us? Avete un messaggio per noi? Show yourself now. If you are here, show yourself. Vieni qua, fatti vedere. Please use all of our energy now. Usa la mia energia. So hopefully, uh, Stuart, that's going to come in handy tonight. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll, have, you'll have to rephrase that for me again because I couldn't <laughs> quite hear it properly. I'll, send, I'll write it out for you, all right. Well, look, have a great night tonight okay. and uh, have a good one, OK? Uh, the investigation team, Thank you very there you much. are. Uh, there you go. Cheers, guys. Uh, they will be back on Thank the show, you. of course, later on. Now, time to take a break. In the next part, we meet uh, Paul Ross, who's going to be uh, taking over the sofa in about 15 minutes' time. And, of course, our historian, Leslie Smith, is here as well. What will she be wearing tonight, I wonder? Uh, we'll find out in a few minutes. See you then. I like to get the DVDs, look into it, um, go to the locations, take the DVD with us, and watch the DVD before we actually go to the location ourselves. <laughs>
Welcome back to Most Haunted Live from Turin. We're with you through until midnight tonight here on Living. And by the way, if you like more news, if you'd like more news about uh, Most Haunted Live, behind the scenes gossip and uh, stories, join me on Living 2 for the next four nights at 8 o'clock. We'll have uh, more uh, chats with the team and so on. So I look forward to joining you tomorrow night from 8. Now, joining me right now on the sofa on Most Haunted Live tonight, night one from Turin, it's the host of the show taking over in this very spot in a few minutes' time, Paul Ross. And our historian, Leslie Smith. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Julian. Yeah, good to see you. So first up, Leslie, what a lovely necklace. Subtle. <laughs> I felt coming to Italy, make a bit of an effort, fly the flag, blinding everybody out there in the light. Is there any the hotel chandeliers missing one big chunk? <laughs> Is there any background to the necklace? Because there's normally some history to your yeah. clothes, you know? Theft. Yeah. No, um, no I, I bought it especially for the show because oh, I wanted to have a bit of a gleam on, yeah. That's great. And of course, you're going to be outside like, with me for, for the am. rest of the evening. It's Thank you. Cold. On the roof, yeah. in Turin, in this weather. But you've never done a show under a helipad before, Leslie. So no, it's, it's the under time. it that's worrying me. <laughs> They're not going to land, I'm told, whilst we're on air. I don't want anybody <laughs> landing on me tonight, thanks very much. Um, Paul, great to see you. I mean, are, are you looking forward to the next five I months? really am, because this is such a beautiful city. There are so many fascinating locations to come. Got a great new team member, our new yes. medium and psychic artist, Brian Shepherd. Kieran's out with some new equipment. The sound guys have rigged stuff to get some new sound, so it's going to be a fantastic five nights. Now, are you both new to Italy, or have you been before? What about you, Leslie? Oh, I've been to northern Italy many times. Right. And it has its own microclimate here, doesn't it? Yeah. They tell me it, it's sunny here when it's raining everywhere else. It's extraordinary, and the Alps have a great deal to do with it, I think. Right, OK. Yeah. And I've been to the Amalfi Coast a lot, around Sorrento and Capri, and my honeymoon four years ago, we went to Rapallo, which is on the oh, Italian right. Riviera, which is beautiful. But Turin is astonishing, because you've got the very ancient and the very modern yeah. side by side. Uh, and Leslie, I mean, I'm sure you You've been doing your research, beavering away. Uh, don't give too much away right now. No. But what have you found? Um, I think as you're going to find it's one of the most extraordinary places in terms of what we hope to find on the show. And um, I can tell you that we've been working, Kieran and I, quite closely in de digging into the deepest, darkest archives I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and Paul, I mean, we're saying it's Satan's city, but is it a myth? Is it a legend? What do you think? Well, you do get an odd sense of this place because the architecture is so monumental, yeah. almost stark, compared to a lot of Italian cities. And there is something quite forbidding about it. I was out during the day today, lovely and sunshiny. As the sun started to set, you got just not a chill physically. You get this kind of mental chill. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Now, Most Haunted Live wouldn't be Most Haunted Live without the fans. And over the next five nights, we're going to meet some of the fans. Uh, let, let's meet a couple right now. I'm Alison, I'm from here in West Yorkshire, I'm 45 and I work for the NHS. If you put the menus one at either side of the table, then everybody who can sit down can see what they're going to eat. I've watched Most Haunted for as far back as I can remember, really, and ever since then I've been an avid fan and watched every single episode, of course. Have we got enough? Play settings. I watch it with my friend Stuart. Name's Stuart Collum, I'm school caretaker. 47 years old, but I look 21. And I'm from Leeds. As you can see, we've got a very extensive range of DVDs uh, from Series 1 right up to the present Series 8, which is not here, it's at my house at the moment, because I'm analysing it. Stuart and I do consider ourselves particularly avid fans of Most Haunted. We like to get the DVDs, look into it, um, go to the locations, take the DVD with us, and watch the DVD before we actually go to the location ourselves. One afternoon, I decided that it would be a fantastic idea to draw a map and put all the most haunted locations on, roughly where they are, <laughs> and then we can tick them off as and when we go to them. So we kind of came up with this idea. We've drawn a rough outline and we've drawn roughly where the locations are, and, um, and then we have a colour scheme so that we can see where we've been and where we haven't been and where we have to go again. And, what have you. We'd like to just say, right, we'll go there. We'll spend Friday, Saturday night doing, mm. doing locations. Even if we don't go to do a vigil ourselves, to just go to a location where the team have been and to just say, oh, look, this is where they filmed so-and-so and doesn't it look different off camera? It is an expensive hobby, a very <laughs> expensive hobby. Because um, you, you're looking at going to locations, um, you're looking at overnight stays, you're looking at transport costs, places like, you know, things, things like that. So it does work out as a lot of money, but if you pick something up at the end of it, it's going to be well worth it, isn't it? And on the line is Alison. Hi, Alison. 
Hello, Julian. Hello. Hello, Alison. How are you doing? Hello, everybody. <laughs> nice to speak to you again. Nice to see you all. We all want to know when the holiday to, <laughs> to yeah, when's the holiday to Turin booked? <laughs> Actually, next month. No. <laughs> wow. Well well I've decided it looks such a fantastic place, <laughs> and there are so many lovely buildings and things. I really must come no, and, and it, see it. It's great. Have you got the table all laid up? Oh yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for your yes. do tonight. Everything's all good, and I love the, the place where you're sitting now. The lab, did you say it was called La Bola? The bubble, the, the big bubble. old bubble. bubble right yeah. the it looks building. fantastic, and helipad and everything. It looks so exciting, I can't wait. <laughs> well, Alison, have a great night tonight, and it's, it was a great film. Thanks for coming on the show, all right? Thank Bye. you very much, so and that, all the best to everybody. Have a great time. Thank you. So that's Alison on the phone. Uh, the question we're asking everyone tonight, you two, is if you could communicate with a, a celebrity of the past, who would you like to link up to? Paul, what about you? I think for me it would be, I'd love to meet Dickens and Shakespeare, but everybody would say that. I'd love to meet H.G. Wells, who wrote things like The Time Machine and The Invisible Man, to see what he makes of the modern world that he predicted so closely. I'd love to meet him. Good answer. Leslie, what about you? Thora Heard. <laughs> really? Liberty bodies and a cup of tea. And when you see where I'm sitting, you'll understand the attraction. <laughs> Right, well, thank you, Leslie, and I'll, I'll be joining you outside in a few you moments' will. time, all right? Uh, the cold, but getting interactive, so that's brilliant. Uh, don't forget, access all areas uh, tomorrow night at 8 on Living 2. But for now, Paul, I'm going to hand the reins over to you for the rest of a very spooky evening. Thank you, Julian. You've done a fantastic job so far, thank which will you. continue. Of course, this is Most Haunted Live. If you've just joined us, where have you been? You have missed one whole hour of scintillating, spooky entertainment. We are in Turin, in Italy, reputedly the most haunted city in the world, and it is also known as Satan City. So tonight, Yvette Fielding and the team will be locking horns with Lucifer. They'll be taking on the devil in Satan City. But before we reacquaint ourselves with Yvette and the gang, here is why we came to Italy, and Turin in particular. Here in Turin, the city of the devil, the most haunted team will meet their biggest challenge ever, a face-to-face -face with Satan. On the surface, the city is an eclectic mix of ancient and modern, a busy and beautiful place which hides a not-so-secret identity. Often described as one of the most haunted cities on earth, it is known throughout the world as the city of the devil, long associated with the black arts and satanic worship dating from the dawn of time. Perhaps then, it's no coincidence that the Holy Shroud found its way to the city. It is claimed that the Knights Templar, legendary keepers of the Holy Grail, buried that hallowed artefact somewhere here. Two sacred elements that stand bulwark to the pervading influence of evil. The force of good against evil is said to intersect with the fabled gateway to hell, somewhere deep inside the city's vast network of underground tunnels. Why did Nostradamus make Turin his domicile? Did he sell his soul to Lucifer in return for his extraordinary predictive powers? The Most Haunted team will attempt to find the truth behind these stories, both above and below ground. Over the next five nights, we will go in search of the devil in Dayton City. And it looks as if we're in for a truly terrifying ordeal over the next five nights. And as ever, leading the way at the cutting edge, we have our investigations team, led, of course, by Yvette Fielding, with Carl Beatty, Brian Shepard, our medium and psychic artist, and, of course, the voice of cold scientific reason, Dr. Kieran O'Keefe, our parapsychologist. Yvette, five nights, three hours of live TV and live investigations every night. Two questions. It's going to be draining, isn't it? And are you looking forward to it? It is going to be draining. I mean, five nights of, uh, hopefully, uh, getting paranormal activity. And I think we're all going to be a little bit nervous as well. I think I can sp speak for us all, can't but we? Is he on the track, maybe, of Lucifer himself in Turin? Yeah, can you imagine coming face to face with the beast? That's going to be a little bit scary. Well, you've woken up beside Carl, so you know what true <laughs> horror is. <laughs> Carl, have you, have you got a sense of Turin yet? Have you got a sense of the city? Have you had a chance to have a wander around? Uh, only a very small amount. We are in one of the most haunted cities in the world, and that alone, how can you get a full sense of that unless you've been here for three or four months? It's a fantastic place. The fact that the Italian job was shot here as well, I've got to get that out of my mind, because all I've got is different songs and sayings going through my brain, but I can't wait to get, to get going on this, because Satan City, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. And it's also fascinating, because we've got the old and the new side by side throughout the whole place. 
Absolutely, it's uh, the architecture and also um, you know, the people. That, you know, you've still got the, a lot of the people who believe in the old ways, and a lot of people who believe in the new ways and the new ways forward. So it's it's a fantastic place with a lot of different beliefs. It's and on hand here to tap into some of the forces at play tonight, Brian Shepherd, our medium and psychic artist. Brian, have you sensed anything already? Do you know, Paul, I have, and I'm nervous. I'm nervous about it but I certainly sense something, and I think we're in for an interesting evening. Now, without putting you on the spot too much, is what you sense a force of good or a force of evil? It's a force of evil. Okay, I'm getting nervous. I'm glad I'm staying here tonight. Let's turn now to Dr. Kieran O'Keefe. Congratulations on your baby son, Kieran. And I know you're going to be out there with usual scientific equipment. Um, how are you looking forward to tonight? Because this is pretty much fresh fields for us, isn't it? It is very fresh field. The focus seems to be on Satan, but I will have my equipment. I will still try and remain objective, whether it's ghost sightings or Satan sightings. It also must be fascinating to work with Brian, because he's a psychic artist, so you'll have that to evaluate as well. Yeah, very different paranormal gift. Well, good luck to all four of you. I know you're going off to meet the gang now. Good luck to Yvette, to Carl, to Brian, and, of course, to Dr. Kieran O'Keefe. Off you go, and you're in all our thoughts. The team, good luck to all of you. And as the team head off, let's take a quick look at tonight's location and what might be waiting there for them. Was the devil worshipped in Turin? Tonight we investigate a church claimed as a centre of that despicable practice, San Pietro Vincoli, which translates as St Peter in Chains. It was once a major burial site of the city. Being close to a place of execution, the area outside of its hallowed ground held the mortal remains of the slain. Just and unjust, murderers and suicides alike. The main burial pits just shy of the walled graveyard were the last resting place of the poor, whilst the semi-covered cemetery held the righteous and the more deserving of this honour. However, the crypt, which ran in several directions from beneath the small church, was where minor aristocrats and the wealthy were interred. Long since desecrated and now a bibliotheque, but supposedly holding much more than books and manuscripts. As tales of ghosts and phantoms are widespread, what draws our attention to the quaint but unassuming structure is the widely held belief that it became a centre for the black arts and devil worship. Where better to begin our exploration of Satan's city? So the team are now hurrying towards the site of a long deconsecrated church. Now, of course, it gets very tense out there. We never know what's going to happen. They're on their own in the dark. So if there is bad language, if because of stress or tension, you do hear the odd expletive, we apologise in advance. Please bear with us. And I know you're going to. It's become almost my catchphrase. I'm so glad I'm here and not out there with them. But we're all with them, really, because we can watch them via our cameras, and we need to hear from you throughout tonight's show. This is Most Haunted Live, live from Turin in Italy, reputedly the world's most haunted city, and we are here for five, count them, five nights. It's Satan City, and that's who the team are looking for tonight. Jules is here, waiting to go interactive with us. I'll talk to him in a moment. But we have, of course, another regular on the team, our academic, our historian, the wonderful Leslie Smith. Hello, Leslie, perched out here in the bitingly cold wind below the helipad. Now, I've mentioned Turin is Satan City, what are the historical links of this city to the Dark Lord, to the devil? Uh, if you ask Italians generally, and I have done before I came here, they say, oh yes, Turin's known for this. And it, the tradition comes back a long way. The gates of hell are supposed to be below a particular place of statues. Certainly there's a massive necropolis here. And there like has a been, city of the dead. Yes, that, this is where people were, yeah, they were buried, in a massive place in the west there. Uh, and above that is a place where there was certainly torture and murder. And it is thought that people of this area try to harness this vengefulness and this violence uh, and pursue it into the dark forces. And is it a coincidence um, that the symbol of Turin is the bull? And of course this is one of the images, absolutely. Mm. Um, and many people um, in the church as well are concerned. In the 1980s, I've got notes here, um, that was thought as many as 30,000 practicing saints. I suspect that with a pinch of salt. But that's as recently as 25 years ago. Oh, oh still on. 
absolutely still on and people openly say oh yes we're practicing and we do mean black magic here we're not just talking about an interest in the occult although that seems to be very substantial in the area as well there was a d tradition of magic dark magic satanism harnessing the dark forces and the calling up of demons here so plenty to look forward to tonight <laughs> i'm glad we're here i'm also Me glad too. that you're there watching us because you are our eyes and ears we thrive on your input we need you to go interactive with us and here to tell us how is the lord of all things interactive julian clegg julian Thank you, Paul, and yes, welcome to Interactive. We may be in Italy, but we want you at home to get in touch as ever, very importantly, so uh, get in touch with the text. I'll tell you how to do that in a few moments' time. And, of course, the website, mosthauntedlive.net, where you will find a map of our location tonight. And uh, there it is. We're located at San Pietro in Vincoli. And let's look at the webcams. Webcam 1 in the internal courtyard, webcam 2 in the chapel, Webcam 3 in the main corridor of the crypt and webcam 4 in the crypt anteroom. Those are the four locations. Let's have a look at the cameras right now. First of all, webcam 1, there it is in the internal courtyard. If you see anything unusual, let me know when you spot uh, the strange phenomenon, please. Webcam 2 in the chapel, there it is right now. Then let's move to webcam 3 in the main corridor of the crypt, and you can see that there and then webcam 4 we've got a problem with that one it's looking dark at the moment we're working on it and as soon as we can get the picture up we will bring it to you as well so get in touch tell me when you see anything unusual and of course tell me uh, who you are and where you're from very importantly otherwise I can't read out your messages now this is how you can get in touch uh, you can text me text the word screen then a space then your message to 80889 uh, the co cost is 50 pence plus one text message at the standard rate and we'll only use the best by the way on screen so send those in as soon as possible and of course go to the website mosthauntedlive.net now our competition as ever on most haunted live we have a great competition for you and uh, this special in turin is no exception we have five lucky winners walking off with a pair of tickets to the next most haunted live event in the uk including travel and accommodation as well only for uk viewers very importantly this competition just want to stress that uh, we have runners up as well 10 runners up walking off with a signed copy of most haunted series 9 on dvd so here is the question where was the first most haunted live location was it a pendle hill b dudley castle or c Mizartro? now you can call right now if you know the answer here's the number 09015 Double three five double oh five. If you're a digital satellite viewer, press your red button on your remote control right now. The calls cost one pound from a BT landline. Other networks and mobile rates may be higher, and you must be over 18 to enter the competition. Or text your answer to Haunted, followed by a space in your name and answer to 84383. Those cost one pound plus one standard rate message. And please remember your name, very importantly. The competition lines close at midnight on the 30th of March, and the winners will be selected at random and announced next week. They'll also be up on the website next week as well. So good luck, uh, get entering, and I look forward to may maybe meeting you at the next Most Haunted Live in the UK. That's all from Interactive for the moment. More a little bit later, but for the moment, Paul, back in the warm, over to you. Thank you, Julian. I'm being told that that fourth webcam is now up and running and that Yvette and the team are almost at the Church of San Pietro, known as St. Peter in Chains. Once a church, now deconsecrated, being used as a library, housing ancient books and artefacts. What else is lurking inside? We'll find out after this. Hello and welcome back to Most Haunted Live from Satan City, Turin, in Italy. We are here with you for the next five nights. Yvette Fielding and the team, I'm being told, have arrived at tonight's location for the first vigil, which is San Pietro in Vincoli in Turin, which means St. Peter in Chains, a former church now deconsecrated, being used as a library. Let's go straight away to Yvette and the team, who I think are in the courtyard. Good evening, Yvette. Hello, Paul. Yeah, we're all here in the courtyard. It's a stunning, stunning place, as you've just, dis just described, a church, deconsecrated ground. I'm not saying anything else apart from that, because, of course, I've got Brian with me. Um, now, we're going to do something that we've never done before on Most Haunted, because we're here in Turin, uh, a city that's associated with the devil, uh, Satan himself, and uh, we're seeing if we can get in touch with him, as it were. So, on the ground, we have a circle of salt. Now, Kieran, come on in, Brian. Come on in and turn around. 
You're all right. You're not, you're not happy frozen. at all, are you? No, it's okay. No, tell me Please what you, carry on. Tell me what you're getting. what I'm getting is we walk over the bones of the dead. Come over here with me just before. Come over here with me then. Mm. Do we walk over the bones over here? No. No. No, we don't. You pick that up straight away. They're here. The dead lie here. But no, no, not here. Okay. You feel that? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so step in, step in the circle. I don't know whether that's right or not. I'm sure Leslie will, will let us know. Kieran, do you want to explain what we're about to do? Yes. Uh, you asked Leslie and myself about this idea. We're in Satan City. Can we actually invoke the devil, mm -hmm. the demons, bring them to us? Uh, and see if they appear. Mm -hmm. So what we've done for you is look through some ancient sacred texts. There's a circle here, and we've given you an invocation of Solomon, which is basically a good A protection for all. A protection for all and anybody that wants it, essentially. And then the second invocation is from an ancient Honorius text, basically invoking Satan and his army. The look at your of face! Hell, look at you! I'm very excited. You are very about excited. This. Okay, so uh, and are you happy? With well, this? I don't know if you call it happy, but yes, I think we could perhaps pr okay. proceed. <laughs> proceed. <laughs> Can I just ask the crew then? If you want protection, please come and stand inside the circle. That's the cameras. Everybody, Kath, do you want protection? Yes. Everybody, do you want protection? No? Roger? You know, oh, look at them all. They're all being a bit brave. You don't want protection either. Right, well, I'm going it's for it. There's, there's me, more belief factor for There's more belief factor. Okay. Well, yeah. All right, there's just the three of us. I'm going to read out. You ready? Okay, so I'll read out the protection first. I just want... Can you, Jeff, can you just get a shot of everybody that's standing outside? He's looking nervous. Okay. There's uh, 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 Roger and Stuart... And Carl, and can I just say, just Damien, give, give a wave there. Our interpreter is actually called Damien, get that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Damien. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, here we go. You ready? So, this is the protection. Powers of the kingdom be beneath our left feet and within our right hand. Glory and eternity touch our shoulders and guide us in the paths of victory. Mercy and justice be ye the equilibrium and splendor of our lives. Understanding and wisdom give unto us the crown. Spirits of Malkuth conduct us between the two columns, whereon is supported the whole edifice of the temple. Angels of Neztek and of Hod strengthen us upon the cubical stone of Yisod. O Gedulahel, O Geburahel, O Tipaheth. Amen. Amen. Here's the bad one. <laughs> okay? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, take heed. Come, all ye spirits, by the virtue and power of your King, by the seven crowns and chains of your kings, all spirits of the hells are forced to appear in our presence before this pentacle or circle of Solomon, whensoever we shall call them. Come then, all at our orders to fulfill that which is in your power as commanded. Come therefore from the east, the south, the west and the north. We conjure and command you by the virtue and power of him who is three, eternal equal, who is God invisible, consubstantial in a word, who has created the heavens, the sea and all which is under heaven. I did hear a funny noise when I was yeah, reading I it. The bang over sure. There's a bit of bang a bang. Over by the water but I think, somewhere. though, if we were going to conjure up the devil, he'd make more of a bang he than might that. Be a I bit think louder, it might have been more. It would a bit might have been a bit more dramatic. Definitely. I but I've never done that before, and uh, it was a little uh, bit nervous. It's yeah, not... you were nervous reading down. Yeah, just a little bit. Right. Okay. Uh, how did everybody feel when we were doing that? You're all, all fine, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, Roger. How are you feeling? Yeah, just a little bit apprehensive. It really? all sounds a bit heavy going. It was a bit heavy going. Okay. Shall we just take a walk around here and see what else? Okay. Any more information okay. you get for sure, us, Brian? Sure. Sure. So you're walking well, here and, and you're sensing that there's definitely dead bodies under where we were standing. There. Yeah. There are bodies underneath these, these flagstones. Did you hear? Did, did you hear the echo of a door or yeah. something? Kieran, do you want to go check yeah, that I'll out? Yeah, just check. Yeah, okay. There. Yeah, definitely, definitely picking up on, on, on that feeling so far, anyway. 
What um, do you sense oh. in, the, in the courtyard? Are you sensing any, any spirit here? Yes, in that, well... There is something else, there is something else. Now yeah. wait, yeah, there is. Turn around that way, just so we can see right. into the dark corners. Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. Did you almost feel that... Oh, I don't know, perhaps it's me. It's feeling that I'm, I'm, you know, the expectation, but there is something else here. Tell me what it is. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. I... God, it's gone again. Come on. <sighs> it's a spirit. I believe a woman... A woman walks here. Yeah? Walks over these grounds. Uh-huh. What does she look like? Can you see her? Not her features. You can't see Not her see features. her features. A, a shape. Mm -hmm. A shape. Just that, a shape, like... Yeah? Not her features. You can't see her Not see her features. Her features. A, a shape. Mm -hmm. A shape. Just that, a shape, like... Black. Veiled, I suppose, right, you know, okay. black, yes. Yeah. Black clothing. And I get the indication that she moves around, moves up these, these walkways here. Okay. Between these... Pillars. Any name with this woman? <sighs> or initial? Oh. I know that's a bit early, but if you could try. Oh, my name. Um, a name. Come to me, a name. Uh, she is... She has some status, this woman. Mm -hmm. She has a high status. She, she could be royalty. I think she is, she is royalty. She's royalty? Yeah, she's royalty. You, when I asked for a name, you were kind of forming a... Well, the, yeah. Go a on. B, B, Bar. B. Go on. Bar. Yeah, bar, Barbara. Bar, Barbara? Barbara. Barbara. Okay. You don't sound convinced, though. I don't leave it's you. Just, I, I it's just, the, 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 it's just, it's just... How, how can I say this? It's the name Barbara that doesn't seem totally convincing to me. It doesn't seem Italian, neither no. does it. No, that but, was the question. But the thing is, that's what I'm getting. Okay. <gasps> okay. And now I hear something. So as soon as Brian started to talk about um, a couple of minutes ago, as soon as that happened, those noises, you could hear those noises straight away. Let's be really quiet. If you're here, make those noises. Make that noise again. If you're here, call out. Call out to us. And if I'm right, Barbara, make yourself known to us. There. That was there. Listen. Can you um, hear that? Yeah. It's fair. Getting that loud. I can hear that. It was slow. Yeah. You did hear it, Roger. Yeah, I'm hearing it now. Still. Is it, it coming from beneath? No, she's uh, she's here in this courtyard. How did she die? Do you know? She's a young, a young woman. How old? A young woman. Only... 30. Barely 30. Okay. Barely 30. If not, listen. Did you get that, Roger? Just very loud and clear. Okay. I'm still going. I'm still right. going. I'm still going now. I'm whispering because hopefully we'll be able to pick that up. Apparently Roger on sound has got that. So in the studio, if we can rewind the tape and hopefully you'll be able to hear it at home. It's like a ah, whining noise. Yeah, yeah you're getting it. Again. I can't look at it. I'm getting some, something. Just something coming uh, uh, into my mind. What's that mean? Go on. It's nothing to do with. What is it? Oh, I can't. 
God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ben, Ben, silly, prima. What does that mean? Cha, entry armor? I don't know. Are you all right? We're in danger. We're in danger? Well, we know that. I'm thinking it means, it means something like bless us before we enter this okay. place of evil. Really? Okay, who told you that then? <laughs> As we're standing here? Yeah? On these stones, something came into my mind. You know you there's, did a cross above my head yeah, when you did there's it. something here that's warning us to be... The sound's going again. That's, that's not... That's, that's, not, that's, that's outside yeah. the mystery. I'm sorry. No, no, not so, at all. Okay, well, I think, I mean, we've... We were outside, um, we all heard the noises uh, here, I don't know whether you heard them in the studio, but hopefully you'll be able to hear them in the studio. Um, we're going to plunge the whole place into darkness now, get the night vision camera out, and we're going to go inside this place and see if we can get uh, a lot more paranormal activity, yeah? So, uh, Leslie and uh, Paul, that's absolutely fascinating. Barbara, we've got a name of Barbara, um, and the fact that the bodies were buried underneath the concrete slabs. Is that right? I don't know. It's back to you in the studio. Thank you, Yvette. You stay safe out there. Good luck to Brian and to the whole team, and I'm delighted to welcome to Most Haunted Live, live from Turin, a leading medium from America who's with us for the next five nights, Patrick Matthews. A pleasure to meet you, so welcome Thank aboard. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very excited about being here tonight. Now, let's start with you. You were very excited when you heard Brian talking about a name beginning with B, because before that, you sensed, when you were at that location earlier, right. a couple of things. One was, you got the name of the place and you didn't know it, because the name... Yeah, never been there before, and I was getting Peter really strong, Peter, 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 and then you were, you said it's... It's San Pietro, okay. former church. Okay. And you also got a B name, a female well, B name. As, while they were investigating, I kept getting a B, like Belina or Belena, or something that he was saying Barbara, so we both matched on toward that, but I would be curious what the Italian version of Barbara would be. Is it something toward that effect? Again, but either way... Leslie Smith could be working on our historian. Right, so again, we're together, and we're here in the studios, but I was basically you know, there in spirit, if you're picking up what they were sensing as well. And when you were there earlier on, it's now in use as a library and a place where they store old volumes, archaic books. You got a sense of something quite sinister there. Again, going to the location, I have no idea where I'm going or what it is. And as soon as I step down into that courtyard, you see a beautiful building, but all of a sudden, you hear screams coming out. You know, I was sensing screams and spirit and such. I'm thinking, okay, it's a beautiful building, but what was that? What is this building about? Again, I had no idea. So during the walkabout, basically, you know, picking up, you know, as soon as I walked in the door, I'm saying, there is a lot of dead people here. You know, I'm not talking about just in spirits, but actually buried there and so forth and so on. So I'm anxious to find out exactly what's going on there. Did you get any sense of an evil presence, Patrick? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the thing. And when you walk into that building, or even into that courtyard, you know, the chills just come right down you. But all of a sudden, you're feeling a heaviness, a weightness, if you will, an evilness, if you will. So there's something that is totally unanswered there that happened in the past, but is brought to today. When did you first become aware you had this gift, that you were sensitive? It basically, it started when I was a child. I used to see dead relatives when I was, I was about six years old. And I, I'd live in a, uh, a place where the Civil War took place, and I used to see Civil War soldiers walking about in, on the battlefields and things like that. So it was kind of natural seeing spirit. But again, you know, it was basically everybody was, I thought everybody was seeing them too, but I found out they said no. Well, no. Patrick is staying with us not just for yes. tonight, but for the next four nights yeah, after tonight. Thank you for that, it. Patrick. We're going to take the shortest of short breaks. A little reminder, of course, we are one hour ahead of you here in Turin, which is known as Satan City, which means that when it's 11 p.m. in the UK, it'll be midnight here, the witching hour. Stay with us. More after this. Welcome back to a fascinating first night of Most Haunted Live, live from Turin, which is known as Satan City. We've had some amazing information already from our medium and psychic artist, Brian Shepard. We've also got Leslie Smith here to check the details of academic and historian. Leslie, what do you want to pick out first from the information we've received? Well, what I'd like to say is the hit that so far have come in have been outstanding. 
Um, I can tell you that the graveyard was broken up in the 70s, partly because the amount of black ritual that was going on there, partly because the land was needed preciously for building. And I can tell you that where he stood on the green and said, nobody's here, he was right, they'd been moved. But in the path and stoned area, there are still bodies. Where both Brian Shepherd and Patrick Matthews, our American medium, sense bodies. Absolutely. Brian got the name Barbara and a woman who died before she was 30. I was very hopeful about this one and it's come up. Barbara Beloselsky, she was a Russian princess, an aristocrat. She died when she was 28 years of age in 1792 in miscarriage. And she died in Turin? Well, um, the, the, she could be Geneva, could be Turin, but I can tell you she was buried in 1792, uh, during the, obviously just after she died, and then her body was moved in 1862 there. Now what's so crucial about that is we think the fetus is with her as well, because of what's on the tombstone, which they can't see by the way, it's not on view, and also this horrible veiled figure, the classic frightening shrouded figure, which is her, is seen both as a dark shape in a nearby playground and also it appears with the mouth of the veil sucking into into her mouth very frightening looking figure and this is believed to be her it is her she reveals herself as Barbara and she left behind three children as well and does she have any any legends associated with her is she an aggressive spirit um, well she certainly warns people a great deal she appears not only in a white shroud but a black veil she's known two years after her uh, burial in 1792 uh, to have appeared to a man and seduced him. I haven't worked that one through myself yet, but apparently that's the case. And when they agreed to meet again, that's when she revealed herself as a ghost and produced her grave. Uh, now, whether that's the hot chocolate in there, which is particularly good, which apparently they both drank, um, maybe something to do with that. But the truth of the matter is, she's certainly seen, it's more than a legend. Children say they're frightened of a black figure nearby where they are tonight. So what's un interesting about this, in fact fascinating, is that I wouldn't associate the name Barbara as an Italian name, but we have here somebody of Russian extraction, a Russian princess, who is definitely moved eventually to that location after death. Yes, well, there may have been, a, obviously, the 1792 grave which she was put in, again, must have been, there must have been a problem with it, and so that's why she was put there, and that's why they've not moved her again because she's been moved. So when they moved some of the graves, they've left her alone. She was married, actually, to an ambassador to Russia. That's where the surname comes from. Barbara's Italian. Okay, well... Because she's an Italian saint. The minute more information comes to us, we'll give it to you, Leslie, for the moment. Thank you very much, Thank Leslie you. Smith. And we can now go back to Yvette Fielding and the team in the vigil in San Pietro. I understand they have gone into night vision. I hope they're taking care out there, Yvette. Back to you and good luck. Thanks very much, Paul. We've actually come inside the building now. Um, okay. We're already getting very, very, very loud knocking. Not light taps, but it's like one bang. And when I pause, it probably won't happen, but we'll see. Um, one thing I want to talk about, uh, there it is again, yeah. is sound. And it's becoming very apparent to me and the rest of the crew, and particularly to Kieran and to Roger on sound, about EVP and about the sounds that we are getting. And we've kind of come up with a, a little bit of a plan, haven't we? Do you want to explain, Roger? Yeah. That's right here, yeah? Yeah. We, we basically have been getting bangs for a long time, and then in recent times we've been getting these little noises. It started off almost like an owl hoot, distant yeah. owl noise, which we've been getting clearer and clearer. And my, my feelings are that this is something that we're, the, the energy in the room is something that we are adding to, but we're not getting it very clearly at all. If that could be developed, these little sounds, into some sort of talk voices, we want to hear the actual words, and we're hearing bangs all the time we're speaking. Okay. Um, and I want to try and record on a good old-fashioned, at the moment we're recording everything digitally, and I just feel that what we want to get back in the system is good old-fashioned analogue because I think that the coil within this, which records a sound on the magnetic tape, is something that may actually give us a little bit more than we're hearing on our digital recorders at the moment. So when we call out, you're going to press the... And we're hearing in the room Ooh. now... Okay, let's get cracking. So Did what I'm going to do... That? Did you hear that? Again. Yeah. And this, this, this is what we're doing. So Roger's okay. going to... We're running this now. Running that, that tape. Okay. Kieran's going to be running the digital yeah, uh, for EVP. Let's see what we get, plus what we get here. Okay. We're hearing lots of bangs. Should we move in a little we, bit? Who course, have we got yeah, here, Brian? I was, well, all I'm going to tell you is this, that I feel so chilled inside and I sense, I sense that there's haunting of many, many tortured, restless souls here. In this one space? Within this 
within this church, this chapel. Okay. As you can see, this chapel is just full of books now. Yeah. Okay. Shall I call out, Ryan? Yeah. Sorry, I thought I heard something then. Oh. There's... There's a presence here. Yeah. Did you hear that? There's I a presence know. Might have been this, uh, okay. this lift in the corner. Right. Okay. Right. Falling down. Yeah, who is it? There's a presence here of pure. Oh, that's God. Like, that, that's like, that was like a footstep right there. Yeah. Wasn't it's... It? Pure what? Eleven evil. Oh, okay. If there's anybody here, please make a noise. Any spirit person that wants to talk to us, please make a noise. Use your voice. Tell us your name. Bang on something. Move something. But better still, use your voice and tell us who you are. Who this? Can you get a fix on what this? I'm, eleven. I'm, he I'm hearing on. this noise again and again. Very, 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 very close to us. What? There's a there's a very there's quiet a... sign. Yeah. That's going on yeah. in the background. You're here. You're picking it up. It's, it's, sign. it's like a. Mm, it's there. Yeah. As soon as you mention that subject, can you ask about a name? You ask about this. That, there. Again. Very quiet there. I'm going to call out again. I call upon the spirits, the astral beings that are here in this place. We don't mean you any harm. Please come towards us now. Walk amongst us. Touch us. Talk to us. I can't hear anything. Yeah, that's a, again, very quiet little response there. Okay, let's move a bit more forward. Okay. Lower noise now. Yeah, I got that. Got that. Did you not hear that? Yes, I did. That was a. Mm. Yeah. Are these creaking? Yeah. Well, I thought some... All around. Wait. Oh. All around us. What? What? Almost. You can. I thought I heard creaking. So did I. So I did I. Hear. Hello. So did I. Did you hear that, guys? Yeah, did. Did you hear it, Roger? Did you hear it, Karen? Yes, I did. No. No. It was Good a... Morning, mm, was that was quite a deep man's... It was a man's voice. Yeah. Please, if there is somebody here, talk to us. Is Damien with us? I don't know. Is Damien with us? Yeah. yeah. Hello, Damien. Could you translate for me in Italian? Could you, could you say some of the things I've been saying? I'll say first, then you say. Okay. okay. If there are any astral beings, any spirit people here, please talk to us. Se ci sono degli esseri astrali, degli spiriti, parlate con noi. Say again. Say again. Se ci sono degli esseri astrali o degli spiriti, parlate con noi. Se ci sono degli esseri astrali o degli spiriti, parlate con noi. Venite verso di noi. It's deep. Fate un rumore con la vostra voce. Parlateci. Fate un rumore. Fate un altro rumore. You're pointing over to the left. I was just going to say, I'm going to go down here and have a look, because it sounds weak as coming from here. We definitely are getting Damien's some response. response to Damien's question. Okay. Whew. Damien, have you 
Have you ever... Uh, can you hear what's going on? Yeah. Have you ever experienced anything like this before? No, I don't think so. Okay. And are you feeling the loud banging here? No, the banging, I don't feel it so much. But you hear the noise? Mm. Okay. Oh my God, the energy level is... Sorry, the energy level is increasing. Okay. I'm just going to check down the end of this aisle, just to make okay. sure there's nobody okay. down on the other okay. side. Okay, Just to be 100% sure. <clears throat> if there is a man here... In this place, the spirit of a man. Damien, can you repeat, please? Se c'è un uomo qui, in questo luogo, lo spirito di un, uo di un uomo si faccia sentire. If you mean us harm, can you make a noise, a loud noise? Se vuole farci del male, faccia un rumore, un rumore forte. What are, you, what are you getting? And a man it is. A man it is. Yeah? Who is A he? man amongst many, many people. But a man it is. A man of strength, of... What? Did you hear that? Ah, yes, I did. That was sort of a... Of... Of such evil. Oh, great. There. Oh, absolutely deep. What if... What have we done? Oh, 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 here. What do you mean, what, what have we done? What do you mean, Brian? Oh, my God. What? There's every indication in this place. Every indication of something of... Of witchcraft, of... The black arts. Really? Practitioners of the black arts. Is that right, Kieran? My God. Connection. Yeah. Yeah, I think yes, Leslie it is. Yeah, I think Leslie elaborate on it, but I'm sure there's some connection. And he is, yeah. yeah. And he's connected with he the, is very, the black arts. Very much connected, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what's his name? Make yourself known to me. Come through to me. Make yourself. What's your name? The vigil is continuing. Brian Shepard, our medium and psychic artist, said he sensed terrifyingly every indication of witchcraft and the black arts. The webcams are running throughout this break. We have four of them in action. Please be our eyes and ears. Keep in touch with us and we'll hear from you after this. And you're sensing that there's definitely dead bodies under where we were standing. There is something else here. Listen. Se ci sono degli esseri astrali o degli spiriti. Every indication of something of, of witchcraft, of the black arts. A chilling beginning to five nights of investigations into Turin, the most haunted city in the world, known as Satan City. This is Most Haunted Live. We are with you until midnight UK time, 1 a.m. here in Italy. We've already had some amazing results from Brian Shepard, our medium and psychic artist. They were endorsed and amplified by Patrick Matthews, our American medium right here at the hub, the bubble as they call it, above the old Fiat factory in the heart of Turin. And with us, of course, is our academic and historian, Leslie Smith, cross-referencing and researching any name, any hint, any bit of information, no matter how small. We've had some good direct hits tonight, Leslie. One after the other. And lastly, he said there were tortured, restless souls there. No wonder people were carried from the gallows, very often we now know, not dead, hemorrhaging, uh, and lay there with a doctor watching over them until they were dead to be buried. But also autopsies were carried out there by a special license in the room they're in at the moment. And there was reason to believe that some of those people were not entirely dead when that was carried out. So there's a possibility of people who are executed being taken down from the gallows, still alive, yes. and anatomical experiments yes. being carried out on them while they're still living. And, and there's a possibility that happened. They were certainly taken while still alive from the gallows, very unsuccessful in hanging around here. And we know that doctors were desperate for information. Very few places were granted a license, they were. And black magic was definitely being carried out where they are now in the 70s. I hope the team is safe. We're going to go straight back there now. Things are going on out there at San Pietro's. Yvette, over to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Paul. Uh, um, um, we've been having the most extremely loud banging noises as if something's punching up uh, through the concrete. Brian, uh, and I know that you hopefully will be able to see the footage that we've that we've been we've been continuing to record. You've just picked up on this presence that's with us. 
And just repeat what you've just said yeah, to me. This presence that's with us died here. Right. I asked how he was executed here. Okay. He was... He was hanged here. Did you hear the groan? Did you hear yes. the groan, Roger? Did you hear that, Kieran? Yeah. And you started to get his name. Ah, a, a, a. Ah, right. <laughs> okay. We're right, are we? We're right. But I can't go any further. What do you mean? I, I can't get the name. I. Name. Bear with me. So strong now, that presence. So, so strong. So strong. Is he... Was he innocent or was he guilty? Guilty as hell. Was he? Was he a murderer? Wait. Let, yeah. me, let, me, let me... Give me time. Give me time. Okay, 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 okay. Give me some time. What are you guilty of? What were you guilty of? Is it murder? Amongst other things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst other things. Okay. How old? Can you see what he looks like? Old man. Older man. S I don't know. Sixties, I suppose. Seventeen. Do you want to move on a bit? Do you yeah, want let's to move walk forward? on because the noises are coming yes, it's from coming around here. From does he here. need? Does he need help? Does, does he need? I'm help? not sure. Let's go this way, Brian. Do you I'm want to go that sure way or this that, way? Um, I don't think that would be necessarily appropriate. With him, if indeed, if indeed, it's as I suspect that he well deserved. The death he was given. Okay. And presumably he's Italian. It's a silly question, but we haven't touched on how you're communicating with these, if they're speaking Italian. Are they speaking? I'm understanding. I have an understanding right, of him. Right, okay. Just needed to clarify that so people yeah. could understand. Yeah, no, I have, I, and I appreciate that, but I just have an understanding of who basically the essence of what this person, this man, was all about. When we asked him, I don't know whether we were recording or whether we were live, I can't remember. Right. We asked him, oh! What was that? That was... That was a box. Oh, a box, okay. What was it? Oh. There's a box has just come... Just fallen down? Yeah. From... No one was in there. I'm assuming, no. I'm assuming it was. Well, there's a... This box. Okay. Because it sounded... It but the sounded noise exactly came from like. through there, but there's no one there. Cass saw it fall out. Oh, you saw it fall oh, out, Cass? I saw it fall out. I was... I was... I was... I was... I was... I'm to come around here, From Justin. which side? Do you know? Here, like this. This it side. Out. You just saw it, Cass? Yeah. I saw it come out with my own eyes. Jesus. Can you show yourself to us? Show yourself to us, please, sir. Per favore, si mostri. What's his name? A. 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 I'm not getting it all. I'm not getting it all yet. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God! For God's sakes, I have just seen a shadow pass that pillar, hover right across, go straight behind Kieran, and disappear. I can hear distant tapping. Can anybody else hear it? Where are we? Are we near stairs? Or? I don't know. I can hear... Yeah, it's like that. So somebody's... Did you just... Oh no. Why just is that moving? Why? What? 
Oh my God! I've just seen that with my own eyes. That's Did you see that? <laughs> Did you? See? I just saw it. Oh, we've got. I just saw it with my own eyes. Listen listen to the banging. God. Saw that with my own eyes. As I've just said, it's just past. Yeah. yeah. Cast seems a bit walking towards you. you can hear the footsteps. I sense it again. Whoa. I sense it again. What was that? Was that was that an accident? Jeff, was that it an accident? It just fell against me. It just did. You. These two boxes. Really? Here. Off this shelf, something. It's a knocking again. Amber something. Thank you for this. Please, more. Grazie. Ci mostri ancora qualcosa. Do you think to the things that we've managed to get the loud banging from underneath the floor? Well, just frequency, just in terms of frequency, it's a lot more than we would get at the beginning of any live show. Yeah. To have so much happen, a very short space of time, and in a very small area yeah. too. And I think that's fantastic. I'm still remaining sceptical because yeah. there are still alternative explanations. I just see with my own eyes. That I want to watch that back. Did you? I don't know if we caught it on camera. I don't what think did we you did. See? It, it was actually. like a box thing it's here. Old, it's here that. Right? It was like that. Paper here. I, mean, I just thought it was a bit of paper gliding. And I actually said you can watch it back. I actually went, that's is that moving? It that's and it slid like this own. on its own and then it went. Straight but I watched it slide in front of my right. face. And, and you can, if you watch, rewind that back, you'll hear me going, ah, I'm moving. Is that that moving? And I wa did you see it as well, yes, Roger? Yes, I saw it. Actually. You did too. Yeah. It's just, it just very slowly moving across. I am so intrigued because that's the first time for me that We've I've seen something so something clear move on its own like that. Please do it again. ancora, per favore. Please move the box again. Muova di nuovo la scatola. Move things for us. Push things. Throw things. Please, please, please. Spinga qualcosa. Tiri qualcosa. Per favore. Yes, the deep voice. Oh, yes, I heard that. Yeah. Oh, there's some, there's some movement here. Can you hear it? Sir? Let me see, let me see. Please, push things over. You see this? You see all these things? Push them over. Come and play with us. Have fun. Scare us. Something what? Moaned. Moaned. Can you ask him to play with us and move things? Pinka qualcosa. Giochi con noi. Si diverta. Ci spaventi. Oh my God, I've just seen a figure. Did you, where did you see it? What's moving? I can hear moving of something. Well, I'm just saying, I've just seen a figure. Where? Where? Oh my God, there's more of it. It all goes no, back I've, down here. Sorry, oh yeah, I've just seen a dark shape move from there, that passageway, yeah. over into the right. Still no name with this man yet, Brian. No. Okay, um, hurry well, up. Well, not more than I... <laughs> not more than I... <laughs> Is there someone there? Oh, Jesus, nothing. it's massive. There's nothing, you see. There's an old saying, be careful what you wish for, one day you might get it. The team wanted intense paranormal activity and so far they have got it in spades. We've heard what Yvette and the team have seen and heard. What are you seeing? What are you sensing? Let's find out via Julian Clegg 
and interactive. Julian. Thanks, Paul. Lots of reaction and interactive tonight. We may be in Italy, but you are getting in touch, which is just fantastic. I'll tell you how you can text and go to the, the web in a few moments' time. Let's go around the webcams, though. Busy as ever. Uh, webcam one, let's have a look at it. Uh, the internal courtyard. Uh, Dan in Bristol, I saw white light float in an irregular pattern floating past the webcam in the corridor of the crypt. Uh, Robin in Bedford, we saw a dark figure float from left to right. It's a shadowy male figure. Thank you for that. And Faye in Chard, a dark shadow moving up and down at the back of the room uh, earlier this evening. So thank you for that. Webcam two in the chapel. Let's have a look at it there. There it is. Um, Lee in Denton. I was watching the show where my dog started to growl at my laptop and I looked and saw two dark figures moving around on that. And the student Bradford on webcam two, a ghostly figure that looks like a monk is in the chapel on webcam two as well. Now webcam three, that's the uh, main corridor of the crypt, there it is, and uh, Jade in Glasgow says they look like uh, a dark figure in the room on webcam three, and Dennis in Southampton says a dark figure of a woman with her veil or something covering her face walked uh, across webcam three. And webcam four, finally, the crypt uh, in the ante room there, a dog sitting in the room, lots of people talking about animals on that webcam, that's Philip in Stoke-on-Trent, and Michael in Warwick in the bottom left-hand corner, a cat's head is visible. This is how you get in touch. Text me, screen, then a space, then your message to 80889. Uh, your name and where you're from, please. That costs 50p plus one text message or, and your standard rate, of course. And the website, very importantly, mosthauntedlive.net. Get in touch, get interactive. More from us later. Paul, back to you. Thank you, Julian. Keep watching, keep listening, keep in touch. Yvette and the team in the Church of San Pietro in Turin, the most haunted city in the world. More after this. Oh, well. well deserved. The death he was given. Oh, oh my God! I sense it again. Woo! I sense it again. It's the first time for me that We've I've seen something, seen something so clear like move on its own like that. Hello and welcome back to Most Haunted Live from Turin, also known, of course, as Satan City. Now, Yvette and the team are out on a vigil at San Pietro, the Church of St. Peter in Chains, a deconsecrated church now in use as a library. Brian's getting lots of information, as is our American medium, very well-known American medium, Patrick Matthews, who's with us for the next five nights and is with me on the sofa now. Patrick, you've picked up lots of different names and information. What would you like to share with us? What could Leslie well, first start of all, working on? While they were looking or going around and such, I was picking up the name like Michael or Mikel, but also like Giovanni, Giovati. But the interesting part was that I'm getting connected to what would be a term like a mayorship of some sort, but it would be he and his son who was part of this lack of a better word, evilness, if you will, of what they used to do to so people. some sense of maybe a family conspiracy, yes. somebody quite senior in local but society. senior, exactly, where no one would question, he basically could do what he wanted behind the dark, if you will. Now, Brian got a sense of people being hanged in the nearby area. Leslie said there were public executions there. Brian didn't right. know what Leslie had said. Did you get a sense of that as well? I was getting the exact same thing, except that the hangings were done as far as they talked about, you know, some of them didn't, uh, they were kept living, basically. So almost at the brink of death. They did that on purpose. It was like a game to them. They enjoyed it. So they did that totally for a reason. Now, what you're sensing, do you get a visual image or is it some information you're hearing? It's and actually it's both. It's actually both. I'm hearing this coming from whatever spirit is telling me this or actually viewing it like a, uh, like a vision in my mind of what was occurring at that particular time. But we're fascinated, as is the whole country, with what's happening on the vigil there in Turin. Yes. Let's get straight back there now to Yvette Fielding and the team. Let's find out what's happened since we last spoke to them. Yvette, back to you. Would you like to play? Well, if you got it. Make another noise for me if you do. Faccio un altro rumore se vuole. What? Little whimpers. What? Little whimpers. Whispering behind you. Tiny little whimpers. Here we go. You ready? We've got some spongy balls. Kieran has numbered them. Kieran's got some spongy balls. <laughs> um, now you've checked. There's no one down there. You've got the yes, thermal image. Yes, thermal image as well. Okay. Please. Please let us know that you're here. If you're capable of moving things, and I know that you are. Can you say this, Damien? Per favore, sfaccia sentire. So che lei è capace di muovere le cose. When I throw this ball, can you throw it back, please? Quando here tiro questa pallina, me lo può ritirare? Here we go. One, two, three. Please throw it back. 
Me lo ritiri, per favore. Concentrate on that now. Throw some books at us if you can. Ci tiri dei libri se può. There's a lot of scratching sounds coming from back here. Are there? That, Let's yeah. go back. Scratching? Mm. Yeah. Mm, apparently. Uh, but you do need to get yeah, 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 yeah. It's very tight down here, isn't it? Very. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Blimey. Tons and tons and tons of books. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I'm Careful. fine. I'm, I'm... What um, what time period, Brian? Are we are we saying that this oh, man was hanged? Oh dear. Um. <sighs> Dates in my mind, and I'm not sure about this. I'm I'm going to go for this. I'm going to say. 1600s. Okay, 1600s. Yeah. That's when you were hanged. Oh, okay. Yes. You were hanged. Thank you. Were you. Are you scared to go to hell? Lei ha paura di andare all'inferno? Are you frightened? Ha paura? Where's that coming from? It's footsteps again. Everybody stand absolutely still. Does anybody have any ideas of what to ask this gentleman? Is this, is this the guy that's still... This is the up? same presence. Okay. Strong as ever. Leslie, if you can hear me. This gentleman, according to Brian, was very much into the black art. Is there anything I can say to him to get a... Oh, my... Ah. Uh, what? Go. Ambrose? Ambrose. Ambrose? Ambrose? Oh, yes. Okay. God. I, I heard that. Oh, tapping. Ambrose. Hello, Ambrose. Grazie. Leslie, give me something I can say to this man. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. No, I just felt no, like something what was. No, I just no. felt like something was just touching my leg. I was standing right here. And I yeah. Brian okay. Was right there. Oh, okay. Just like a foot away, but okay. still. Oh my! It, some. It's us who what? should be. Afraid. Is that what he's saying to you? It's us who should be afraid. I'm there. Ambrose, you don't scare us. Non ci spaventi, Ambrose. I am strength. I am strength from... I have the strength from the master. Oh. Oh. Come on, Leslie, give me something. I need something from Leslie in the studio. What's the first letter of his surname? Oh, yeah, that's I might a good have an idea of D. who it is. D. 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 Den. D. Den. D. D. Is it D? Oh. No. Okay. Okay. Are you the master? Are you the master? No. No. So he's talking to you now. His disciple, his disciple. Did you hear his that? disciple? Oh. <laughs> I'm starting to see things now. I'm starting to see um, things. I just did, saw Did you it. see flickering? Did you not see... I'm 
trying to be rational because I'm thinking I'm getting myself worked up. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Come towards us now. Venga verso di noi adesso. Come closer. Venga più vicino. Touch one of these men. Tocchi uno di questi signori. Let them feel how you felt on the day of your death. Li faccia sentire come lei si è sentito il giorno della sua morte. What was that noise? It was like a... Because this is a man who knows Satan. Do you know yeah. Satan? Lei conosce Satana? A disciple of Satan. Oh, he thought he was. <laughs> Whoa! Are you alright? Fuck. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 I'm fine. Oh, shit. What was You're it? Right, I don't know. What are we doing? I don't know. I don't know. What's wrong? Something What's hit that? me right on the head. Something, something hit me on the arm. Something got you on the arm. It was something, I don't know what it was. Mm. It, I would say quite... It was small. Okay, look quite around. small. Did you hear that then? It wasn't that. That wasn't that. So um, what oh, is it? Oh, it could be. Look, what there's is a ball. It? it wasn't that ball came back, was it? Yeah. What number is it? Well, look. Seven. Seven. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear it? And you threw that you down it? the aisle, uh, didn't you? Did you hear <laughs> it on my head? Bounced. It went yeah. all tapping. Oh, that was your head. That yeah. was the noise. Jeez. That was uh, thrown with some force then. And it's just as you're saying, oh, he thought he, he was thought. Satan's disciple. Oh, he, he was. He was. Okay, I'm going to throw it back. What, no, can you hear the tapping? Yeah. What number is that? Don't turn it on. No, I won't, I won't tell. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ambrose. Throw this back. Disciple. Ha! Yeah, really? Show us. Show Va us. Va bene, Ambrose. Tiraci questo, discepolo. Facci vedere. This, this is a man of great power, okay. himself, mm -hmm. and he's with us here. I have to say, I'm not impressed. If Me he's a man neither. of great power, power, and he's throwing a rubber ball, Yes. then I'm sorry, I'm not. Okay. If he is genuinely the person doing it, I'm not impressed. Mm. That's not very powerful, is it? Yes. I'm kind of secretly hoping that's all it'll be, a rubber ball. Well, I'm not. I mean... Well, I don't want... I think we're in danger. I think we're in danger. Kieran. Yes? Say, you don't believe... I don't believe... Say, call, tell him that you want something else. You want something... It's clicking, actually. It's clicking. Somebody leaning on the, one of the shelves? Where's that no. clicking coming from? You, isn't it? It's from these shelves, but where? Is anybody can people step away from the shelves, not lean on them? Did you hear something? God. Okay. Oh, what's right. that car? Oh, God. Kath, come here. I want you to be next to Brian if that's the case. You taste blood in your mouth? Yeah. Can you stand next to Brian? Yeah. You aren't bleeding, are you? No. Not bleeding, are No, I don't see. Have you not? No, you're fine. Okay. Kieran, ask. Ooh. Ambrose. You're meant to be a powerful, supposed disciple of Satan. Oh! That's right He's behind Ambrose! You're a... <coughs> Whoa! Did you hear the groan after it? Yep. Did you hear the groan yes. after it? Did you get that? Well, unfortunately, it was just after it went... Whoa, it okay, so okay. Go on, Kieran. If you're meant to be a powerful disciple, supposed disciple of Satan, all you can do is uh, throw a rubber ball or groan.
call out your name, call out one of our names. Lei si Show yourself. Un discepolo di Satana, potente, però riesce solo a tirare una pallina di gomma. Chiami invece uno dei nostri nomi. Ci faccia vedere di cosa è capace. Do all of this because I'm not impressed. You're not showing me any power at all. Faccia queste cose perché su di me non ha fatto colpo. Lei non mi ha mostrato finora nessun potere. I did, yes I did. Yeah, I did ask for it. I'm giving you these two back. Okay. Don't you think that the, the activity we've got, I mean literally we've this is one of the first times we've ever had this type of activity where you know it's it's no one's near it, things are falling off that I, I think that that's quite a powerful thing. What it would be good is if he could knock one of these things over or Yeah. Wait, can you not hear it creaking? Yeah, it's, it's clicking all the time. Yeah. What an amazing start to our five nights of paranormal investigations live here from the city of Turin in Italy, known as Satan City. Yvette's in a deconsecrated church with Brian Shepard, our medium and psychic artist. They're staying there. I know you'll be staying the other side of that screen watching us in just a moment. This is Most Haunted Live, back soon. us who should be afraid. Whoa! Hello and welcome back to Most Haunted Live. We are live from Turin in Italy for the next four nights. We started tonight and already we've had an amazing result. Yvette Fielding and the team are, part, are taking part in the vigil at the Church of San Pietro, St. Peter in Change. We're getting back there very soon, but first let's find out what you've been seeing and hearing and sensing. Julian Clegg and his interactive team have the latest.